The first thing you see after entering a space is the dashboard. It offers you a quick overview of some key information and data related to that specific space. Dashboard is the perfect place to catch up on important changes made within the space. Before jumping into more detail, it's worth mentioning that based on the user's role, the dashboard can look slightly different. There are three main variations, the owner dashboard, the admin dashboard, and the editor dashboard. Since I am the owner of my demo space, what I am seeing here is the owner dashboard. That's why, for example, I can see the plan details at the top. An editor would not be able to see that in the dashboard. Right after the plan details, you can see how many stories, assets, blocks, and users are in this space. We will go through stories, assets, and blocks in much more detail later. For now, just remember that stories are basically your content entries, and blocks are quite literally the building blocks of all of your content and story block. The activity panel shows all the content edited by both the team and the user, in this case, me. The list is sorted by date, as you can see on the right side and you can quickly see what kinds of edits have taken place by looking at the small icons on the left side. The great thing about the My Last Edits part is that when you start working in the morning, you don't have to go around looking for the project that you were working on yesterday. You can simply come here, select your last edit, and jump right into the same project. The content activities and API request panels show exactly that, the number of content activities over time and the number of API requests over time. As I hover over these columns, you can see how many updates as well as how many API requests have been made each day. The apparent lack of activity is because this is just a demo space. On the left side of the interface, you can see Storyblock's main navigation. You can see the dashboard on the top, followed by all the different areas. Same as the dashboard, these areas may look slightly different based on your role, and also the apps that you are subscribed to. So your navigation panel may have a lot more options than mine.